I feel the wildcat yes. spirit. Yes, let it pour over you. You do not have to be a hardcore sports fan to really support Arizona athletics. And our next two guests make it really easy. They really do. The one and only voice of the Wildcats, Brian Jeffries, and former player and senior associate athletic director James Francis are here to talk history and Wildcat pride. Pleasure to see you guys. Hey, great to be here. Beautiful yeah, day. For it is a beautiful day. So we want to talk a little bit about the past. We're going to talk about the 90s. And Brian, of course, you were calling game in the 90s. James, you played for Coach Tomey and are now an administrator. We want you to share one or two of your favorite memories from that Desert Swarm era. Why don't we start with you, James? I think it's easy. Uh, the 92 uh, home game against the University of Washington on ABC, Keith Jackson with the call, and the Wildcats take down the number one Washington Huskies. Uh, the stand's empty, and uh, it will just be a moment that will live on forever in the history of our of our program mm -hmm. and our school, and to have been down and been a part of that will always stand out as a highlight in my career. Excellent. Brian? Well, I think of the Desert Swarm era as an era, and there were three seasons there, 92, 93, 94, where Arizona's defense was the best in the nation. They allowed an average over those three years of 49 yards a game rushing, which is just incredible when you think about it at today's standards or any standards. So it's that whole era to me that stands out, something that we, we may never see again. Right. right. I mean, it goes back to the nostalgia, right? University of Arizona Wildcat pride. There's so many legacy families here. And it's funny when you hear football games being called, people get goosebumps, including <laughs> me, when I hear like big plays happen and you announce it. And it's that warmth to me when you watch some of the games, you, mm -hmm. you want to hear that familiar voice. So we're talking about the Oregon State Beavers coming up this weekend. How do you see that game playing out, so to speak? Well, Oregon State is a, maybe a better team than their three and four record right now. For one thing, they lead the nation in the fewest turnovers. They've turned the ball over twice in seven games, which is remarkable. Uh, the Wildcats need to force some turnovers. I think that would be the number one thing. And also just play smart football. It comes down to that so often, as James can attest, that if you go out and, and, and play your best to your abilities, you've got a good chance to win. Uh, Oregon State's got an excellent offense in terms of they've got a quarterback who's thrown 16 touchdowns and one interception this year. Their running game's been banged up a little bit. Their defense is more experienced. They've made a lot of improvements. So I think it just takes a solid game. Thanks us all again. We, we are excited to see it. And going back to the Desert Swarm for just a sec, we want to get your take on the 93 team versus the 98 team. James, you make the case for 93 and then Brian for 98. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Well, first of all, how did I find myself in a debate with Brian Jeffries? That's, <laughs> that's, oh, that's not fair. That's apart, true. Too. Okay, well, you know, the fact that we're talking about the 93 and 98 teams is a testament to Coach Tomey, obviously, to his teams, both very talented. Um, on both sides of the ball, really, but it comes down to 93 defense and 98 offense. And the 93 team, uh, 10 and two, finished number 10 in the country, uh, went to a New Year's Day Bowl and earned a, a conference championship, a full conference championship, which they shared with UCLA. 98 team, 12 and one, number four in the country, prolific offense, and had there been a playoff at the time, they could have challenged any teams in the country to win it. But if this fantasy game were to be played, I believe in the saying that wins championships. Brian already made my point, I think, <laughs> earlier with the stat. But you have six guys, or, or you have a few guys who played in the NFL, yeah. two college football Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. I think they get the job done against the prolific and record-setting 98 team. And, and Brian, he took most of your time no. that you would have to make your case. 20 seconds. All right, 12 and one, that's all I have to say. <laughs> the Washington Nationals won the World Series because of a team effort. The 98 Wildcats were a team effort. They used two quarterbacks. They had a solid defense, great running game. Best yep. team in the Spoken like school the voice history. of the That's Wildcats. Right. Get your Desert Swarm merchandise, by the way. It's been such a pleasure to see you guys. Thank you. And this was the U of A Out Live. Yeah.